everyone welcome to home cooking with me Hema Subramanian now, I personally love mushrooms because of its exotic flavor and taste I've made several mushroom recipes earlier and today I'm going to share another wonderful mushroom recipe we're going to make this herbed mushroom rice and it's going to be a lot more flavorful because of the special vegetable broth that I'm going to add to it now, I've already made a recipe on how to make this vegetable broth I'll give you the link in the description do check it out so let's get started and check out this special and flavorful mushroom rice. So first we're going to stir fry a cup of mushroom slices. So I'm just going to use this for garnish later on. To the pan add a small cube of butter. I'm going to season it with a little salt and pepper. So I've sliced the mushrooms to a nice medium size. You don't want it too thin or too thick. Cook the mushrooms till they're completely done. You can see all the excess moisture has evaporated. Turn off the stove at this point. Take a nice deep pot like this to cook the rice. I'm adding a few cubes of butter. So a lot of flavor is going to come from the butter. So this is roughly about quarter cup of butter that I've taken. To this, I'm going to add some finely chopped garlic. About two tablespoons is sufficient. Next, add two medium-sized onions, finely chopped. First, saute the garlic and the onions. Saute this for about two to three minutes. Now, the onions are translucent. Next, I'm going to add the mushrooms. So, I've taken about 800 grams of mushrooms here. And you can see I've sliced it to a nice medium size pieces. So adding a lot more mushrooms because it's going to add a lot of flavor to the rice. If you don't want to have add so much, you can just cut down a little bit. Next add about one teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, about two teaspoons of chili flakes and about three teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Now mix everything well. You can see how beautifully the mushrooms are nicely coated with all that seasoning and it's releasing all that nice juices. For this recipe, I've taken one and a half cups of long grain basmati rice and I have soaked it for about 30 minutes. It's a 250 ml cup measurement that I've used. Gently mix the rice, just take care to see that you don't break it. So for one and a half cups of rice, I've added three cups of broth. This rice is best when you make it with the vegetable broth. So if you want to make it with just water, you're not going to get the exact flavors that the vegetable broth is going to give you. This is just one recipe that I'm showing you using vegetable broth. Just post your comments and let me know after you try it and I will share more recipes with the broth. Close the pot and cook the rice for about 15 to 20 minutes. So make sure you use a lid with a spout like this to release the steam. After 15 minutes, I'm going to check on the rice. You can see it's cooked beautifully. All that water and the broth has been absorbed. So I'm just going to add some freshly chopped coriander leaves. So you can gently just mix it all. Look at that rice. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to let it rest for about five minutes and after that we will plate this. So our herbed mushroom rice is done. You can just serve it nice and hot. You can enjoy it as is. It's a wonderful dish. I'm garnishing this herbed mushroom rice with some nice stir fried mushroom slices and some finely chopped coriander leaves. This mushroom rice tastes absolutely fantastic when served hot and you can enjoy it with any suitable side dish of your choice. I've made several mushroom recipes earlier. I'll give you a couple of links in the description to check them out. Do try this recipe, enjoy and share it with your family and friends. So for more exciting and wonderful recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get your notifications. 
the second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description. You can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now. So you can place your orders on 21frames.in.